Hi everyone, Finn and Flask here. So I'm gonna be doing my final installment on the build of this Traditions Kentucky Flintlock rifle kit. And basically, uh, I got a couple little things to do. I have actually started adding the oil to it. I started doing that uh, off camera because I didn't, hadn't really worked with it much. So basically all I did after I put the stain on, I scarified it with some steel wool and then I started applying the true oil to it. And basically, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm probably gonna put like at least one more coat on. I've probably put on six coats already. That's probably a little bit of overkill, but I kind of like it. But there's one other thing I have to do today, and that is I have to inlay the trigger and then put the rifle together and install the sights. But when I put this in here, I did a dry fitting and the tang bolt doesn't really go too far in so i've got to get inside of here and i got to make this a little deeper that's kind of my plan and i think that'll be much better so i gotta recess this a little bit and try to get the tang the tang bolt to go so i'm going to start with that and then i'm going to scarify the stock and i'm going to put another coat of finish on it so i think to start i'm just gonna kind of cut this out a little bit now when I get in here and start chipping away I'll use a small gouge. I'm going to take maybe an eighth of an inch out. That's about it. And then I gotta get back here a little bit. The gouge is probably good enough. And I'll drop the trigger in. Yeah, that should be a lot better. It's a bit deeper, but that should be a lot better. It's a bit deeper, but I'll be able to get more of the tang bolt into, into the trigger plate. So now I'm gonna scarify the stock. I got a couple little runs get the runs right there I'm trying to get those runs out and I'm just scarifying it lightly to smooth it out I'm gonna do that over the whole stock Okay, so I got true oil here, and I'm going to put a very thin coat on because I've built up quite a bit of finish on here, and I'm just kind of trying to cover up where the scratches are from the 220 that I put on there, so I didn't whisker it like a lot of people talk about. I didn't whisker it. But I don't think that really affected the way how this went out. This one came out. So it's a nice light finish that should fill all those voids.
Okay. Now I got a couple hours before that stock will be dry, so I figure it's time to install the site. And a little further to go to center it roughly. I'll go here more. That's pretty close. Right here. These sites are probably temporary. I'm probably gonna add something a little more in the future. All right, so I eyeballed it and I think I got it fairly centered and I guess I'm gonna have to adjust these sights when I get to shoot it for the first time. So the first place I'm gonna start is putting the thimbles in. And you just gotta kinda line them up. The one thing I noticed when I was putting it together as a dry fit is the screws go just a little too far for the ramrod. So I'm gonna test it with the ramrod to make sure I can get it in. Might actually have to Polish that end. I'll probably polish the end of the ramrod a little bit. But loose is less than ideal, but it's what I got. So I'm gonna put the other ones on. Okay, so now I'm going to install the barrel. I'm just gonna tap it in with the rubber mallet. And I'm gonna insert the barrel pins right here. And right here. Now that I'm there, now I'm going to pop in the end cap right there, right there.
Okay. Next. I'm going to pop in the trigger. And the tang bolt. Okay, I think I'm gonna put the lock on next. Need to be whacked a little bit. Oh, I'm going to put on the washers. To hold the lock plate down. Okay. So now i got the trigger guard in place. I'm going to tap the holes. little taps and we'll install the screws I'll get them all in I hope I can suck this down a little bit I think it should go in pretty good stop right there now it's time for the butt plate Here's the gun after assembly. I hope you've enjoyed the build. Stay tuned for the upcoming shooting video.